Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you the difference between finding the probability for a single randomly selected value compared to a sample of values. So in this problem, we have a population of values that's normally distributed with a mean of 227.2 and a, mean, a standard deviation of 79.3. And we're supposed to find the probability that a single randomly selected value is between 232 and 248. So you see how the mean is 227. They're saying we're going to find, we're going to select something and it's definitely going to be higher than average. And so this is what we're actually looking for. On GeoGebra, you're going to enter your mean of 227.2 down here. You're going to enter your standard deviation of 79.3. And then we want to know if it's between those two values. So I click on that between button and enter the two values I'm interested in. And it's going to show me the uh, probability 0 0.0768, which if I move that over two places to write that in percent form, there's a, about an 8% chance that I would pick something that would randomly just be higher than the mean. It's not a big ch up chance, but 8%. All right, so the second one, though, is finding the probability that a sample size of 49 would have a mean between those two same values. So now we're not just taking one, we're taking 49 things and looking at their average. So that looks a little different because we have a different standard deviation in that case. The standard deviation in that case is called the standard deviation of the mean. Whenever we work with a sample greater than one, we need to do this. So we take our standard deviation, which was 79.3, and we divide it by the square root of the population uh, sample size that we're dealing with, which is 49. And that gives us a new standard deviation for the mean of 11.3286. So now I'm going to go into GeoGebra and do the same thing. I have the same mean. I have a different standard deviation to enter, though. And I'm still looking between those same values. But now I have a 27.93% chance. So the chance is greater as we go up that it falls within those two ranges. And so things get more certain when you have a lot more things to look at rather than just one. Now, if you wanted to go do this on classic uh, on geogebra.org, you'd want to go to classic geogebra and then choose probability. It's automatically set to normal. I've gone through this process several times in this class, and if you want to go back and look at it um, again in this particular unit, I do it again in this video, Properties of Sampling Distribution of Means. And while I'm doing that, I also go into more detail explaining this. So if you'd like more detail on this type of an example, that's the video to check out. All right, have a fantastic day.